Okay, welcome to Fit and Flow. So let's go ahead and begin, and we're going to do some yoga to warm up today. And today, Fit and Flow, we're going to focus a little bit more on upper body and core. It'll be good. We'll still get a full body workout, but let's go ahead and begin at the back of our mat. And let's just start to sit on our heels, actually. Just sit on our heels and start closing your eyes and just start to be with your breath. There's so much going on in our world right now. And that it's even, can be challenging at times to be still and to find peace and to find rest and calmness in our head and our mind. And, so let's just take a few moments right now just to inhale and exhale. Just to settle in, bring yourself grounding into your mat. Start to scan your body from the top of your head all the way down to the bottom of your feet. And just see if there's any tightness or tension in any part of your body. And then let's just place our hands on our heart and just get into our heart space right now. And your heart may be sad or upset, disappointed, but let's just send our own heart some love right now, our own body some love. Let's be kind and gentle to ourselves as we process everything. So take a nice big inhale. And exhale, send love to your entire body. Let's do that two more times, inhale. And exhale, sending love. And now this time, let's do this two more times, but we're gonna send our love out to the world. And if there's a particular person or any group that you want to send it to, feel free. If not, just send your light and your love to the world. So just take a nice big inhale. And as you exhale, extend this love out into our world, our communities. And just really see people feeling the love as you're sending it out. And let's do that one more time. Big inhale. And as you exhale, send it out. And then just gently place your arms long, palms up, just to receive, palms up to receive love, to receive peace. And then gently bringing your arms up. And then exhale, bring your hands down to your heart in honor of yourself and processing this and being here during these times. And just set your intention for today right now, whatever it may be, a word, a phrase, a mantra. Go ahead and set it right now. And when you're ready, gently start to open up your eyes. And let's just go right forward into tabletop. Wrists are right underneath your shoulders, knees are right underneath your hips. And let's just take a few cat and cows to warm up the spine. So take the body down, chin is up, shoulders down. Getting a good stretch for cat, for cow, and then arch your back into cat, pressing away from your mat, easing towards your belly button. Good, just do it two more like that. Find any movement that feels good for you. If you want to rock side to side. And then gently back to center. 
And now let's just tuck our toes under and just lift the knees about an inch off of the mat using the core so the belly is nice and tight and making sure that you're turning on the arms. Breathe for four, for three, tummy tight, for two, and one. Now gently press up into your down dog and just start to pedal out your heels. Good. Getting a nice stretch. And now come up high onto your toes and let's take our heels to the right side of our mat and drop them, stretching out the calves. And then inhale back up to center, taking your heels over to the left side, dropping them there, stretching out the calves on the left. And then gently back to center and exhale, pressing the heels down and take any other movements that feel good for you. And then let's slowly bring our feet forward a bit and wide so we can take a nice little twist. And so take your right hand out to the left calf or shin and just take a nice pull here, gazing underneath your left shoulder, getting a good stretch. Then breathe. Good, gently back to center and switch it out, taking your left hand over to the right calf or shin. Gazing underneath the right arm and breathe. And then gently back to center. And let's just take our feet back and just slowly start to walk them forward to meet your hands. And let's stay over in forward fold. Feet are about hip width apart, rock side to side. Getting a good stretch into the lower back, the glutes, the hamstring. <laughs> My dog, she cracks me up. Good, and gently release your hands down to your mat. Bringing your feet in just a bit. Inhale, halfway lift. Getting a nice stretch into the back, keeping the back nice and flat, core is tight. Exhale, forward fold, and gently rise all the way up into mountain pose. Good. Relaxing the shoulders down the back. Take a nice big inhale, and as you exhale, take the left arm forward, right arm is back. Then keep the right hip forward to the front of your mat. Good. Just getting a good stretch into the body. Twisting it out, inhale back up to center. Exhale, switch, right arm is forward, left arm is back. Keeping the left hip forward to the front of the mat. And really stretch as if I'm pulling you from wrist to wrist. Good. And inhale back up to center. And exhale, forward fold. Take yourself all the way down to your mat. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Plant your palms, step back into high plank and hold for a few moments. And just breathe, just start to fill the body. Press away from the mat. Core is tight for three, for two. And now gently take yourself all the way down to your mat, nice and slow. Touch down, good. And tops of feet to your mat. Let's just do a little baby cobra, little to no hands on your mat using your lower back and gently release. Let's do that one more time. Inhale into Cobra using the lower back, all the tops of your feet to the mat and slowly release. Good. Now let's take our hands behind, clasp them together. And this time let's take our chest and our legs off of the mat. Exhale out all your air. Inhale bring it up. Good. Getting a nice good stretch. And gently release. And palms down and let's go to Sphinx pose. 
So shoulders are right, elbows are right underneath the shoulders, press the shoulders down. Collarbone is open. So good, such a good stretch. I feel it in my core. This is so good when you do a lot of core work as well. And then gently release. Bring your hands right underneath your shoulders, elbows in, tuck the toes under, press up into high plank. Exhale, down dog. Good. Take one big inhale here. Open mouth, exhale. And now shift into high plank, hold here. And let's go through our vinyasa, shift forward, exhale, chaturanga, half of a push up. Inhale, upward facing dog or cobra. And exhale, downward facing dog. Good. And then gently come on down onto your knees. We're just going to do a little more stretching. If you have a yoga mat, a yoga mat, a yoga block, feel free to grab it. If not, no worries. But I like to just place it here on the side. So we're on the left knee, plant the right foot, make sure the right foot stays all the way on the mat. Inhale it up and exhale, take it over for a nice little side body stretch, keeping the right shoulder open, no dumping, press away from the left hand. So wherever you would like your block, if you don't have a block, you're just right on the mat. Good, one more big inhale. And using the core, bringing yourself up to center and then switch it out, left arm is open. Getting a nice good stretch in the side body. We're working the arms and the core today a little bit more, that's our focus. Inhale it back up, exhale hands to heart and let's switch it out. Other side. Okay, big inhale all the way up. Make sure that whole left foot is planted on your mat. And exhale, taking the right arm down. Left arm is over. Keeping the left shoulder open, pressing away from the block. Or if you're on the mat, press away from the mat. Good, and breathe through it. Inhale, back up to center, use the core and take it on over. Ah, good. Getting a good stretch. And inhale back up to center, and exhale, hands to heart. So good, nice big inhale. And exhale, hands down to the mat in tabletop. Press up into downward facing dog. And we're gonna go through one more vinyasa, and then we'll get started. So shift into high plank. Shift forward, exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Good. And now gently just start to walk your feet forward to meet your hands. You can hang over for a few seconds and then gently roll yourself up. All right. Okay, let's get started. That felt good. So my little disclaimer, I hurt my left hip flexor. So I'm gonna take it a little easy, but that doesn't mean you do. So you go hard. If you have a chair, you can grab it. If you don't have a chair, you can also do tricep extensions, or you could do lying tricep extensions on the floor as well. So make sure you have your weights. So we're gonna do 30, 30, 30, 30. 30 seconds of work constantly back to back. Four movements, so we're doing two minutes of work back to back, four movements. Our first movement is push-ups, 30 seconds of push-ups. And you can do wide push-ups, you can do chaturanga push-ups, which are tricep push-ups, whichever you want on your knees or your feet. Then we're going to do curl and press with our weights, curl and press for 30 seconds. And then we're gonna do tricep dips. So if you have your chair, down and up. If you don't have your chair, you can just do tricep extensions or you can lay on your mat and do them as well. And then our last movement is figure eights. So if you have a couch pillow or a yoga block, figure eights. If you don't, just clap through, okay? 
All right, we're gonna go through those four times through. 30 seconds on each one. There's no break. We have a 30 second break after we finish all four movements. Okay, let's get this started. All right, first one is push-ups. So get ready for push-ups. You can even use your block in between your legs if you'd like. Get ready, go. 30 seconds of push-ups. Inhale and exhale. Inhale, exhale. Inhale on the way down. Exhale on the way up. Breathe through it. You can even be on your knees for push-ups. If you're on your knees, try to get as low as you can. Breathe. Almost there. Core tight. Next movement is curl and press. Bring it up. Grab your weights. Curl and press. Right into it. Inhale, exhale. So it's a bicep curl into a press. Tummy is tight. Breathe. Good. If you have a yoga block, you can even keep the yoga block in between the thighs as you do this as well. Five seconds. Then it's tricep dips or tricep extensions. Go. Straight into it. Dips or extensions. I'll show both. Breathe. Core tight. Inhale and exhale. Breathe. Good. Keep going. I'm just switching it up to show you the different options. Or you're here. Tummy tight, halfway down, all the way up. Elbows stay into your heads. Good, on your backs, figure eight. And go. Remember, if you don't have a block, just bring the hands up, clap in between. Good, core tight. So scoop that belly button in, like it's touching the floor. Good, breathe, breathe, breathe. Almost there. You got this core tight and stuck. <sighs> Round one. We have three more of those to go. So now you know the movements. Push-ups, curl and press, tricep dips or extensions, and figure eights. All right. Get ready. You have 10 seconds. I would recommend if you do have the yoga block, grab that block for your push-ups. Either on your knees or your feet. Get ready in three, two, go. Inhale and exhale. Breathe. Or on your knees. Remember, butt stays down when you're doing them on your knees. Core tight. Squeeze, use your breath on your way up. Curl and press is next. And go. You can even stay on your knees if you like. Gets you into the movement even faster. Breathe. So if you can see, I'm using my block this time. Core tight. Inhale and exhale. Now, if you have heavier weights, you're gonna go a little slower. If you have the lighter weights, make sure you're going at a good pace, but with good form. Tricep extensions, go. Breathe. Or dips, either your chair or your weights. Halfway down, all the way up. Breathe. Keep the elbows into the head. Core tight, squeeze your core, squeeze the block if you're holding it. Breathe. Three seconds. Figure eights. Woo! Good. Straight down and go. Tummy is tight. Good. And if it bothers your lower back at all, bend the knees. And it's bugging my hip flexor just a bit. So I'm keeping my knees bent. Always listen to your body. Breathe. Core tight. Good. Breathe. And stop. Good. 
That was round two. We have two more to go. Doing good. Now you know the movements. So pick whichever position you want. Grabbing a quick motion. So, if you have the block, grab the block. Get ready. Have your weights ready. You have five seconds. Push ups. Three, two, go. Inhale and exhale. You got this, or you can also be on the knees. You can also switch up the position if you want triceps. Keep the elbows in. Breathe, breathe. Core tight. Get ready for a curl and press. Bring it up. Good. Curl and press. Tummy is tight. You can also be standing on these. But I also like being on the knees because you use less of your body to try to sway the weights up when it gets heavy. Breathe. So keep that core tight. After this, tricep extensions. Core tight, breathe. Good. Extensions, triceps. Or you're doing dips. Breathe. You got it, core tight. Keep those elbows in. Breathe. We got this. Ten seconds. Keep going. Woo! And figure eight. Go, go, go! So I'm keeping my legs bent. You can keep your straight. Core is tight. Or with no block. Clap it through or pass something. Here's a little ball. So whatever you have at home works. Breathe. Tummy tight. And stop. Good. One more round. Then we move on to the next four exercises. Then we're gonna do all of them together. All right. Last round of this set of exercises. So get ready for push-ups. Squeeze that block if you're using it. Three seconds, knees or feet. And go. Good, breathe, breathe. You got it, inhale and exhale, core tight. Keep it going. Or on the knees. Inhale and exhale. Breathe. Keep going. Just good. All right. Curl and press. Here we go. Last round of this one. Tummy is tight. Squeeze your block. I'm going to show you sideways too. Good. So you can see my body stays straight. Focus on the arms. 10 seconds and then tricep extensions or dips. Breathe. Good. And extensions. Halfway down, all the way up. Keep going. I'm going to switch to dips. Keep going. Breathe. Good. If you're doing dips, keep those elbows pointed back. Go into a 90 degree angle. Back up. 10 seconds. Breathe. And we have figure eight. You got it. And stop. Go figure eight. Tummy tight. So try to keep your legs straight or bend them if it bothers your knee, your, knee, your lower back, or your hip flexors. Breathe. Or clap through. Tummy is tight. If it bothers your head at all, you can cradle your head or take it down for a moment and then back up. Keep going. Breathe. 
and stop. Good. Very nice. Take a little breather. And now we're going to go into our new four exercises. Supermans, back rows, lateral raises, full sit-ups. So supermans, you're on the mat. Pull the elbows back, take the arms and legs up, down and up. Then you're going to grab the weights, back rows, stand it up, hinge at the hips, back rows. Side lateral raises, straight up and down and then full sit-ups. Okay, that's our next movement. Get ready. We have 10 seconds. My phone is acting very strange. Get ready. Superman's. Go. Squeeze. Squeeze the lower back. Also squeeze your core. Tummy is tight. Breathe. Good. It's like you want to squeeze your shoulder blades together every time you come up. You're also working the core. Keep going. Tummy is tight. And bring it up. Bent over rows. So hinge at your hips. Back is flat. Good. And Tiffany, move. Move. Good. <laughs> and you can actually pull one arm up at a time or both. Breathe. Breathe. Five seconds. Core tight. Keep the back flat. Lateral raises. And go. Take it out and up. Breathe out. Breathe in. Tummy tight. Breathe. Good. If two weights are too much, one at a time. Good. After this is full sit-ups. You can use one weight all the way up and down. We have eight seconds. Squeeze. Breathe. Breathe. You got this. Core tight. And down for full sit-ups. Go. All the way up and down. Tummy is tight. Breathe out as you come up. Breathe in as you go down. Good. Keep it going. Nice and controlled. On your way up and on your way down. Make your core do the work. And stop. Good. All right. Little breather. We have three more rounds of that. And then we put them all together. Okay, get ready. Wiping down my sweat. Get ready for Superman's. Back rows, lateral raises, full sit-ups. Get ready? Go. Pull it back. And squeeze. Squeeze the shoulder blades. Legs and chest up. Pull the elbows back. Tummy is tight. You got it. Breathe. Good. You know, work the lower back. Work the core. Continue to use your breath. And back rows. Grab your weights. Here we go. Bent over. Core is tight. Pull. Or one arm at a time. Whichever feels best for you, just keep that back flat, tummy tight. If this bothers you, come up a little bit, but keep the back flat. Focus on the core. Good, bring it up. Side lateral raises. Breathe. Breathe out, breathe in. You got it. Core is tight, or you can do one arm at a time. Keep it going. Breathe. Good. Abs are tight. We have 10 seconds. And then full sit-ups. Breathe. You got it. 
Keep it going. Looking good. Yes, full sit-ups. Here we go. All the way down and up. Breathe. Keep that tummy tight. Good. You got this. Breathe, breathe. Breathe out on your way up. Breathe in on your way down. And stop. Good. Halfway there. Two down, two more to go. This floor is very creepy. Grab water if you need to. Or towel down. Ten seconds. Get ready. Superman's our first. We have five seconds. Make this good. Get ready. Go. Pull it back. Chest and legs off the mat. Breathe. You got it. Squeeze. Shoulder blades together. Core tight. Even squeeze your glutes as you come up. Good. Breathe. Two seconds. Woo! Bend over back rows. Grab your weight. Stand it up. And go. Pull. Pull. Or one arm at a time. Keep that back flat. Core is tight. No humpbacks. Keep it flat. If it bothers you at all, come up just a little bit, but keep the back flat. Eight seconds. Breathe. Then we move to lateral raises. Good. Lateral raises. Here we go. Breathe out. Breathe in. Very nice. Working good. You can always switch. And you want to keep your knees slightly bent. Do not lock out your knees. Good. Core tight. Breathe. Hold, even hold it for a second. I have lighter weights. I like holding to get the squeeze going. Breathe. Good. Full sit-ups. All the way up. All the way up and down. Breathe out on your way up. Breathe in on your way down. Good. You got it. Tell me tight. Almost there. And stop. Good. One more round. One more round. Then I'm going to have you do a little cardio session, and then we're going to do all eight movements together. All right, do good, do good. Eight seconds, here we go. Superman's are first. Get down, get ready, core tight, go. Breathe, good, squeeze, squeeze. Squeeze the shoulder blades, get the lower back, even engage the core. Very nice. We're keeping our back strong. Good. Elbows are back. Breathe. You got this. Woo! Stand it up, bent over rows. And go. Breathe. Breathe. Good. Or like I said, one arm at a time. Looking good. Yes. I like it. Breathe. Good. Keep those elbows close to your rib cage. Get them up nice and high. Squeeze. Good. Five seconds. Side raises. Three, two, one. Side raises. And go. Good. Breathe out. Breathe in. Knees are slightly bent. Showing you sideways. Do not walk out. Knees are slightly bent. Keep the body straight. Make the arms do the work. If you have light weights, hold, and then back down. Squeeze, back down, good. We have five seconds, good. 
breathe. So and down, full sit-ups. Breathe out. Breathe in. Good. Tummy tight. Good. Keep it going. Almost there. And stop. Woo! Okay. Now we're going to go through all eight of those, but before we do, a little cardio. So I'm going to start you off and I'm going to make sure you're doing it. Just taking it easy on the injury. So here's what you're going to do. Little jump squats. You're not jumping, you're just squatting. Go. I'm going to start you off. If not, you're right here. Breathe. And just sit that butt back there. Good. Keep going. Light landings if you're jumping. Good. Breathe, breathe, breathe. Ten seconds and you're going straight into mountain climbers. Breathe. Almost there. Down, mountain climbers. Go. You can go fast. I'm just taking it easy. Core tight. Good. Keep it going. Yes, bring your knee into your chest as much as possible. Scoop those lower abs in. Try to get that knee as far into your chest, even if you could try to hit your chin. Don't knock yourself out. Three seconds. Back up for squats. Back up. Either squat jumps or squats. Go. Make sure the weight is in your heels. Booty is back. Do not let, good, good, good. Do not let your knees go past your toes. Keep that booty back there. So you're either hopping or you're squatting. Eight seconds. Then you're back to mountain climbers, core tight. Three, two, one. Back to mountain climbers. You're in high plank. Knees in and out of the chest. Yes. Good, making sure that your wrists are right underneath your shoulders. Engage the belly, knee in and out. If you're going slow, it's okay. If you're going fast, get at it. Breathe. Tummy tight. Almost there. And stop. Very good. Good little cardio. All right, now we're gonna go through all eight exercises that we did. Push-ups, curl and press, tricep dips or extensions, figure eights, supermans, back rows, lateral raises, full push-ups, okay? Going through all of that for 30 seconds without rest. So take a big inhale and exhale. You have 20 seconds to breathe and then get ready. Push ups are first. Whew. Okay. Either on your knees or your feet. Get ready for push ups, everyone. Three, two, go. If you're on the knees, try to get your chest all the way to the floor. Inhale, exhale, breathe. Or even do tricep push-ups. Keep the elbows in. Breathe. Good. Eight seconds, and then we're in curl and press. Woo. Curl and press, either on your knees or your feet. Bicep curl and press. Good. Core tight. If you're using the yoga block between your legs, squeeze that block. Breathe. Good. Breathe. Very nice. Keep it going. Keep that body nice and straight. Breathe. Good. Keep going. And then tricep dips or extensions. Go. Breathe. 
breathe. Core tight, elbows by your ears. Straight up, halfway down. Breathe out as you go up. Breathe out, breathe in. Work those triceps, 10 seconds and then figure eight. Good, breathe, almost there. Figure eights on your back. Go, go, go. You're probably moving faster than me today. Okay, good. Core tight, either legs straight or bent or you're clapping in between. Good, breathe. After this, we're going straight into Superman's. Breathe. Tummy tight. Three, two, one. Superman's. Flip it over. Straight to it. So good. Squeeze the back. Squeeze the shoulder blades. You got it. After this is bent over back rows. Three. You got this. Five seconds. Bent over back rows. Grab your weight. Stand it up. Core tight. Or one arm at a time. You got it. Breathe. Keep those elbows up. Knees are bent. Core is tight. Breathe. Or up. Up, up, keep going. Five seconds, back flat, then side lateral raises. Go, breathe. Breathe out, breathe in, or one arm at a time. Good, you got it. Very nice, this is number seven. We have one more, which is number eight, which is full sit-ups after this. Breathe, good. Keep going. Almost there. Breathe. Good. Three seconds and full sit-ups. Full sit-ups. All the way up and down. Here we go. Core tight. Woo! Keep that tummy tight. Control yourself on the way down. Breathe. Five seconds. And stop. Woo! So good. We're doing that again from the top. Starting with push ups. Doing so good. Good stuff, right? I'm so wet. Woo! Okay. We have eight seconds. Get ready if you're using your block. Place it in. I'm doing tricep push-ups. Mix it up however you like. Go. Core is tight. Down and up. If you're doing tricep push-ups, keep those elbows in. Let them graze your rib cage. Breathe. Woo! All the way down to the floor and back up if you're on your knees. Five seconds. Then it's curl and press. Curl and press. That went by quick. You can either be standing or on your knees. Squeeze the block if you have it. Or a pillow off your couch. Breathe. Good. Tummy tight. Breathe. Good. Woo! Tricep dips or extensions are after this. Squeeze. Keep the body straight. Keep the core tight. Good. Tricep dips or extensions. If you have your chair, feel free to do dips or extensions. And remember, if two weights get to be too much, you can always go to one. Halfway down, all the way up. Okay, whichever works for you. But if they get tired, form is the most important. Breathe. Three seconds. Figure eights. All right. 
on your back with your block, your pillow, or just clapping it through. Go, go, go. Breathe. Good. Tummy tight. Knees can be bent or straight. If the neck bothers you, place it down for a few seconds and then back up. Good. Five seconds. Then flip it over for Superman's. Superman's. Flip it. And go. After Superman's is bent over back rows. Keep going. Good. Breathe. Squeeze. Get the chest and those legs off your mat. Breathe out as you come up. Hold for a second if you'd like. Get ready. Back rows. Stand it up, grab your weights. Core is tight. Pull. Or a single arm. Breathe. Core tight. Yes, you got it. Squeeze, squeeze. 10 seconds, breathe. You can mix it up. Five. Then we're side raises. Woo! Take it up. You got it. Breathe. Breathe out, breathe in. Knees are slightly bent. You can do one arm at a time. Good. And then full sit-ups after this. Breathe. You got it. 10 seconds. Almost there. Woo! I like holding it. Squeeze. Almost there. Oh, full sit-ups. Breathe out, breathe in. Keep going. The sweat was in my eyes. Good. 10 seconds. Breathe. And stop. Woo! Excellent. Okay, you're gonna flip it over. This is your last two minutes of work. You're gonna do mountain climbers, just what we were doing. And then you're gonna do froggers. And froggers are where you're in plank position and you hop your feet to the outside of your hands. Get ready? Mountain climbers, go. Good. Keep going, knees in and out of the chest. I'm watching you, cheering you on. I want you to get that heart rate up before we come down and cool it down and stretch. Good, halfway there. Can you speed it up? And if you speed it up carefully and with good form, you have five, four, three, two, one. Now froggers, hop it forward, take it back, or walk it forward, walk it forward, walk it back, walk it back, and go. Good, very nice. And either you're hopping or walking, either way, engage the lower abs. If you're hopping, land lightly. Breathe, breathe. Eight seconds, core tight. I do miss these, but I definitely feel the inner thigh there. Keep it going. Back to mountain climbers. Go. Back to mountain climbers. You're almost there, I promise. Keep going. This is your last push. Last push. Breathe. You got it. You have 12 seconds. Core tight. Scoop that lower belly in. Five. Two, froggers, hop forward, hop back. Or step, 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 step. Good, yes. Try to keep the booty down as much as possible. This is your last 15 seconds of work. Breathe, good. 10. Five, four, three, two, and stop. Woo! So 
Excellent work. Come on down to your mats. Excellent job. I'm jealous that I couldn't finish out with froggers with you all. <sighs> okay. And slowly take yourself all the way down to your mat. Bring your knees into your chest. <sighs> so good. And go ahead and rock side to side. So that is one thing, if you do have injury, you want to make sure you baby it, take care of it, allow it to recover. And now let's just do a couple of circles with our legs, hands on the knees, go out for a few times in one direction and then switch the directions. It's hard for our mind when we have an injury or not feeling well to try to go hard, but listen to your body. Always lessons our body's telling us. Good. And knees into the chest. And let's take a nice, big, good morning stretch. So arms straight above you, legs straight out. Good. Getting a good stretch. Nice. And now bring the right leg in. Take it around the rib cage. You could circle out the right ankle. Your left leg could be long or on the mat. Good. Now take your hands out to a T or goal post your arms and gently take your right knee across the body for a nice spinal twist. Trying to keep both shoulders on the mat. Good, breathe. And gently back to center. And let's switch it out. Bring the left leg in. Either the right leg is long or on the mat. And just start to circle out the ankle. Good. And then either goal post your arms or arms out to a T and gently take the left knee across the body. So good. And breathe. Beautiful. And gently bring it back to center. Bring both knees in and let's roll ourselves up. And let's go into child's pose because I want us to stretch out our arms and shoulders that we did a lot of. And either shoulder, uh, child's pose with knees wide or with knees together. Today I'm doing my knees together. Take it out long. And now start to walk your hands over to the left side of your mat, but pull your right hip back. So you're getting a good stretch in your shoulders and the right side body, the lats get stretched here too. Good, and gently back to center. Walk your hands over to the other side. Pull the left hip back. And gently to center. And then let's stretch out the shoulders. So take the right arm underneath the left arm. If you would like to take a bind, feel free to do that. If not, just keep the arms straight out. And now I'm going into a wide leg child's pose. And just breathe. Such good work today. A lot of upper body. Core, and we've got cardio in there. Full body today, so good. And then gently switch. Now take your left arm underneath your right. If you took a bind on one side, make sure to take it on this side. 
And then gently back to center. And bring yourself up into tabletop. And just a couple of cat cows. Take any movements that feel good. Good. And then gently come back onto your heels where we started class. And just take a moment to settle. So close the eyes. And then just go right back to the intention that you've set at the beginning of class. And just send your body love and gratitude for what it just did for you. Take a nice big inhale, arms are up into mountain pose. And then exhale, bring hands down to your heart. In honor of yourself, good work you did today for showing up. Thank you so much. Namaste. Good job, everyone. Excellent work. Yeah. <sighs>